There has been an escalating war of words between lightweight champion Teofimo Lopez Jr., his outspoken father says trainer Teofimo Lopez Sr., and welterweight king Terence Bud Crawford. In recent interviews, Lopez Sr. made the bold claim that Crawford's career would be finished if he stepped in the ring with Lopez Jr., saying Bud would be destroyed and it would be a nightmare for him. Obviously, some incredibly strong words ratchet up anticipation for this potential superfight between two of boxing's biggest stars and most skilled operators. Crawford is undefeated with a perfect record, while Lopez Jr. is coming off a lackluster performance and looking to make a statement. Let's analyze whether Lopez Sr.'s warnings about Crawford hold any weight, or if this is simply pre-fight posturing and hype building on their end. I'll break down what makes both special fighters so dangerous and ultimately predict who walks away victorious if they do collide. First, a little background as to what started this war of words. Lopez Jr. recently moved up to light welterweight with plans on becoming a two-division champion, but he struggled mightily in his debut at 140 pounds, narrowly escaping with a decision against unheralded Jermaine Ortiz. Crawford was in attendance that night, supporting another fighter. After Lopez Jr. got the questionable nod, Bud openly mocked him, saying, go back to the drawing board, chump. Lopez Jr. invited Crawford to fight him anywhere between 147 to 154 pounds if he wanted to back up his words. Crawford has shown no inclination to accept as of now. But Lopez Sr. jumped into the mix by guaranteeing Crawford would be handed his first loss in devastating fashion. He says Crawford's career would be over and his undefeated record forever tarnished if he dares mix it up with his son. Some absolutely nuclear quotes from Lopez Sr. repeatedly hammering home that message. Clearly they are supremely confident, but many feel they could be writing checks their skills can't cash against an elite fighter like Bud. All right, let's break down Teofimo Lopez Jr. first. The man whose father has put Crawford on absolute blast. The 26-year-old took the boxing world by storm when he dominated then pound-for-pound -pound King Vasily Lomachenko to rip away his belts and undefeated record back in 2020. Utilizing his superb athleticism, speed, and power, Lopez rose to the occasion against Loma, despite entering as a heavy underdog. He combined thunderous punching with brilliant counterpunching to pull off the upset. That spectacular conquest to become the undisputed lightweight king at just 23 years old marked Lopez as a future superstar. He seemed destined for greatness as one of boxing's most precocious young talents. However, his momentum came crashing down in his next fight when he lost a shocking upset to veteran Australian George Cambosos Jr. last November. Cambosos used his awkward style and non-stop motor activity from both fighters for the full 12 rounds. But in the end, Cambosos got the split decision victory. Not only did Lopez suffer his first career loss, but he lost all those belts he had spectacularly won from Lomachenko. It was a monumental setback for the fiery and outspoken Lopez Jr. In his comeback fight against the unheralded Ortiz, Lopez looked lackluster as he struggled badly for a full 10 rounds. He was awarded a dubious hometown decision, but most observers scored it clearly for Ortiz. So while Lopez demonstrated his championship potential by dethroning Lomachenko, he has fallen back to earth since. The back-to-back -back underwhelming performances have created uncertainty regarding how truly elite Lopez is among the best lightweights and 140-pounders. Here's what he said about Terence Crawford right after his fight with J. Maine Ortiz. Shifting focus to the opposite side of the ring, we examine the formidable welterweight champ Terence Bud Crawford. With an unblemished 40-0 record and championship pedigree across three divisions, Crawford has already punched his ticket to the Hall of Fame. Standing at 5 8 inches tall with a 74 inches reach, Crawford is a supremely versatile boxer puncher, equally brilliant fighting at range or exchanging toe to toe. He combines silky smooth technical skills with brilliant footwork, feather fisted speed, and unexpected knockout power. Crawford is a master of making difficult fights look easy. 
He can adapt his style dramatically based on opponents, toggling between defense-first counterpuncher to relentless aggressor without missing a beat. Inside the ring, Crawford boasts one of boxing's most impressive fighter IQs in recent memory. His ability to download data on the fly and adjust accordingly sets him apart from the pack. Crawford first burst onto the championship scene by conquering the lightweight division in 2014. He dominated excellent competition like Ricky Burns, Raimundo Beltran, and Yuri Orcas Gamboa to unify belts before outgrowing 135 pounds. Moving up to light welterweight, Crawford was no less dominant, clearing out the well-stocked division in impressive fashion. Victims included the likes of Victor Postel, Julius Ndongo, Felix Diaz, and Amir Khan. But Crawford's true signature win came against the division's most feared slugger, Egidegis Kavaliauskas. The normally reserved bud overcame an early scare to produce an epic comeback KO in round nine. The Mean Machine win earned Crawford the WBO welterweight strap. Crawford turned in perhaps his most technically breathtaking showing last November against two-time champion Sean Porter. In a hotly contested chess match, Crawford gradually dialed in the timing and range on his lethal counters before closing the show with a spectacular 10th round knockout. So while critics bash Bud for facing a lack of elite competition compared to Errol Spence Jr., the fact remains Crawford has obliterated every style test put in front of him with ease over the past decade. Approaching 36 years old and buoyed by a deep amateur pedigree, Crawford appears to have reached the peak of his powers as he continues hunting an even bigger game. The Porter destruction especially has many experts tabbing Crawford as boxing's hash one or hash two pound for pound fighter today. He has an incredibly diverse and well-rounded game that stymies opponents. So that begs the question, does the talented but erratic Teofimo Lopez Jr. stand any realistic chance at conquering the mighty Terence Crawford if they clash later this year, as Lopez Sr. adamantly insists? When breaking this potential megafight down, my early read is that I think Crawford would be a sizable favorite over Lopez Jr. at this point in their careers. While Lopez clearly has talent and potential, his stock has dropped significantly after two troubling performances against B and C level lightweights. He still has a lot to prove. Meanwhile, Crawford has never looked better at age 35, operating with the precision of a master surgeon recently. His skill set presents a stylistic nightmare for most opponents. I believe Crawford would consistently beat Lopez Jr. to the punch while using angles and footwork to avoid danger. Lopez may have moments when he lands flashy power shots, but I expect Crawford to take his time to analyze before taking over. In the mid to late rounds, I foresee Crawford's experience and composure shining through as Lopez panics trying to match Crawford's pace and work rate. Ultimately, Crawford picks the younger fighter apart before scoring a late TKO or wide decision on my scorecard, and I don't doubt Lopez has the raw ability that could perhaps trouble even a great fighter like Crawford. But based on recent form, I don't think he could put all the pieces together over 12 rounds to actually pull off the monumental upset his father guarantees. Crawford would be too slippery a foe at this stage. While crazier things have happened in boxing, I'm taking Bud decisively in this potential generational clash. There's my take fight fans. A dominating Terence Crawford victory over Teofimo Lopez Jr. if they meet as things stand currently. But let me know how you think it goes down. Can Lopez shock Bud like he did Loma? Or is his father sadly mistaken with his bombastic predictions? Express your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thanks for watching. And if you love this update, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from our channel.